Part two, God's power shines through. Jesus is invited to a meal by Simon the Pharisee. In attendance are the important people of that time, Caiaphas the high priest, Joseph of Arimathea, and many members of the Sanhedrin. Also appearing for the first time is Mary Magdalene. During the meal, a lady of the evening, Mary Magdalene, interrupts the meal to ask for Jesus' forgiveness. They were shocked. However, Jesus reaches out with his heart and forgives Mary Magdalene of her sins, asking her to sin no more. She will go on to become very instrumental in the life of Jesus, by his side constantly at his death and his resurrection. Waiting in the upper room with the apostles as they await the Holy Spirit. The Sanhedrin is scandalized. Only God can forgive sins. Who does this man think he is? This will set the stage for the eventual demise of Jesus Christ. Crowds were in the street that day when Jesus came to town. All the synagogue was there, more from miles around. So I asked him home to dinner to see what I could see of this famous local prophet from here in Galilee. John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. Here I am, drinking and eating freely with you. No doubt you'll say I'm a glutton and a drinker. Friend of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> oh, Rabbi, you do us an injustice. We respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent? Are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you heal the sick on the Sabbath. You want our people not to rest on the Sabbath? If one of you had a sheep and it fell into a pit on the Sabbath day, wouldn't you go and get it out? But God made the Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. Oh, we understand that. We understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the law. If we accept the law to be ruled by exceptions, then we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from Moses, we would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the, the excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. The law gives me security. It's a guide to my whole way of life. A uh, measure for judging this man is right and this man is wrong. And you should not judge. But you, as a son of Israel, know that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation. And for this, he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves from the sinners and be pure. And just. But who is just in the eyes of the Lord? What is the heart of the law? Hear, O Israel, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength. This is the greatest commandment. You said well. You are not far from the kingdom of God, Joseph of Arimathea. But there is another commandment, no less great. You must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? No! 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 Stop her! No! You can't come in! This is no place for the likes of you! And I don't know just how this woman got into the room. But you couldn't miss her gaudy clothes, strong and sweet perfume. She
She went straight to Jesus' feet and stopped and stood right there. Then cried and wet his feet with tears and dried them with her hair. Now when all the women in my town, none was so well known. The plague went since she lived in and the wickedness she'd sown. But he didn't move to stop her. See, this prophet couldn't tell that this woman who was touching him was a kindly by himself. And I had no idea just what this Jesus planned to do When he said, Simon, there's something I need to say to you So I said, teacher, if it's on your mind, then tell me what you will but as he began to speak to me, their room grew quickly still He said, Simon, when I came into your house, you didn't pour water over my feet or kiss me in greeting, or anoint my head with oil. She has washed my feet with her tears, and dried them with her hair, and anointed them. Daughter, your sins, and I know they are many, are forgiven you because of the greatness of your love. Oh, this is Only God can forgive sins, no good man. I loved you long before the time your eyes first saw the day And everything I've done has been to help you on your way But you took all that you wanted, then at last you took your leave And traded off a kingdom for the lies that you believed And although you've chosen darkness with its misery and fears Although you've gone so far from me and wasted all those years Even though my name's been spattered by the mire in which you lie i take you back this instant if you turn to me and cry and cry I don't care where you've been sleeping I don't care who's made your bed I already gave my life to set you free there is no sin you could imagine that is stronger than my love and it's all yours you come home again to me Now my anger flamed their hatred I want nothing more Than to take this prophet by the throat Throw him out Had to tremble, shaken to the core. The woman still was weeping as they knelt there on the floor. Jesus turned to her and said, Your chains have been released. Faith has saved you from your sins. Rise, walk in peace. I don't care. 
There is no sin you could imagine that is stronger than my love. And it's all yours if you'll come home again to me.